Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a deploy GUI which works well. So, this GUI works in a pretty different way. So, what I basically do is I make a small base plate under the map so no one can see it or anywhere else where anyone won't see it. And then, um, I uh, show the GUI and whenever a player clicks on it, you get teleported to the g main game so that's what we're gonna do so let's begin anyways first I need to make so I'll quickly make a map which uh, I'm gonna make the base plate the map so uh, a desert map would be kindly good to no I'm gonna go with a uh grass map so i'm gonna reduce the size so that um we don't have two more around all right so now inside of this i'm gonna insert a part right so this part is gonna be basically the sp the teleporting part so this part will basically be the part where we, we will be teleported when the game starts so this teleporting part I'm gonna put it transparency to 1 anchored and can collide to false so the best thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make multiple parts so we can randomly uh, deploy or spawn in a place so I uh, duplicated these teleporting parts and put them in different spots and now I'm gonna group them and uh, once you group those you can just call it I don't know uh, teleporting teleporting parts that's cool alright and now we need to uh, the space plate right so it's I call it the map and I'm gonna duplicate it you can right click on the map and um, duplicate and then put it below so no one can see alright so I put it below and I'm gonna name this deploy base plate alright so this deploy base plate I'll change the color to full black and alright I'll make it a smooth plastic so I'll come back up and now we need to make the GUI so I'm gonna go to start a GUI insert a screen GUI and name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it main and inside of that I'm gonna put a frame so I am gonna cover the whole screen up so the player won't see what's behind it so for the size I'm gonna put 1010 so then it will cover the whole screen and it will be compatible with all devices and now uh, the color I'll make it uh, something like gray ash so that um, it looks good for the eye and I'm gonna name this main frame so inside of this I'm gonna just simply put a text button right so the text button I'm gonna change the anchor point to one point 1.5 and then the position um, to 0 0.5 0 0.50 so it will be right in the middle and the text is I'm gonna make it Gotham bold Gotham black I mean even bold is fine but black is what I use and we can scale it and the text can be called deploy and the text color uh, I'm gonna make it gray like that so it's basically like this so once you do that this text button is gonna be called deploy button and now just uh, disable the enabled feature so once that's basically done um, 
I need y'all to do another thing. I want y'all to go to the uh, deploy base plate and put a spawn location in it. So, uh, I'll take it down like that. So the spawn location will make sure that the player, whenever he joins, only ends up in this base plate, so he's not in the main game. So once you do that, I'm gonna go back to the main GUI. For now, I'm gonna enable it, and in it, uh, I'm gonna insert a script in the main GUI, not inside the main frame or the deploy button, in the main GUI. So I'm gonna put a local script, and I'm gonna name this call. And by the way, I'm gonna for this deploy button, we can even try making it better with a corner now it looks better um now let's go back to the uh, local script so in here we need to first uh, get some variables so f uh, first let's get main which is going to be the parent of the script and then the main frame which is child of main so we can just say main or ch main frame and now we need the deploy button which is child of uh, the mainframe so deploy so once that's done um, we uh, I'm gonna um, so deploy button right then I'm gonna disable the main so that it's not interfering your game making process and we're gonna just say main dot enable equals to true so now whenever we get in the game uh, the uh, the enabled will be true and we can see the deploy button and stuff so now we need to code the deploy button for that uh, we need to go to replicate storage and make a remote event and name this uh, anything you want so I'll just name it deploy dip uh, deploy event and so I'm gonna go back to the um, script and get some services so it's basically gonna be one service but uh, it's gonna be replicated uh, storage hold up game gets service replicated storage um, and then I'm gonna get the uh, deploy event okay uh, once you get the deploy event we're gonna work on uh, deploy event on uh, not on server event so I'm sorry but that's wrong alright um now whenever the deploy button is pressed we need to teleport the character to the main game so what we're gonna do is call the event called uh, mouse button one click so bu mouse button one click connect to a function and once you connect to a function here inside of the function I'm gonna put um, uh, the deploy the deploy event fire server right so I'm gonna make this event a variable so that I can uh, uh, do one more thing and which is we're gonna put under that we're gonna say repeat um, until repeat wait right we're gonna repeat and wait until event so what this is gonna do is until event is true until it finishes it will repeat and wait repeat the wait until event is true then we which what we're gonna do is under that we're gonna say main dot enabled equals to false so this will help uh, the script to identify if the player has been spawned and then it will spawn the player and remove the main enabled so now this 
will this needs to uh, be um, working on the client side but still we are not done we need to spawn the place so I'm I'm putting a script in server script service and I'm gonna name this uh, script the handler yeah you can name it deploy handler if you're making a full game so in the deploy handler we are going to basically uh, get the same um, get the same variables variables are uh, called replica replicated storage game get service replicate storage and then the uh, and then the event which is uh, deploy event is replicate service for child de deploy event right so now I'm gonna say deployment on server event connect to a function we're gonna connect to a function like this right so what this does is basically when we fire the server this will always wait for the server to be fired and whenever it's fired it's gonna run that's what we're gonna do here so if you don't know anything about remote events I can make a tutorial on it but I prefer watching other videos where they explain it much better than me because I don't know to explain anything because I suck at explaining so here we are going to this um, event is going to be returning one uh, thing which is the player and others are whatever we send here um, so what we're going to do here is um, now I'm going to uh, get the character's root so the player's root so I can say character equals to player dot character or player dot character added weight um, you can do this or another easy way is workspace with a child player dot name because whenever we are in the workspace obviously it's gonna our character is gonna be there with the player's name alright so then we're gonna get the humanoid root part which is the main thing in a character which binds everything together all the body parts so if we move the human or root part then everything will move so um we need another variable uh we need um the teleporting parts so teleporting parts is to workspace the teleporting parts right um once you get them here uh, so in the teleporting parts I'm gonna do this and say get uh, get get children so what this does is gonna return all the children in it right so it will return it as a table so for example we have teleporting part here one two three four so if we say this um, it's basically equals to uh, teleporting part equals to something like um, this inside the uh, this uh, table it will be this so it will just return everything inside it this is this is basically how it is going to be alright so I'm just trying to explain it just to make y'all understand what I'm doing here so once we get that children we are going to teleport the player there to a random um, position so I'm gonna say human root part dot C frame so capital F C frame it goes to um, deploy right not deploy teleporting parts so since it's a table we can say square brackets and uh, square brackets and then give a specific number so if you want the fourth part to like if you want to teleport to the fourth part then put four here if you want to go to the first one one but we need to randomly select it so I'm gonna go above it and I'm gonna say local rend number right so the 
random number is going to be math dot random one two so there's four here so we should put four here but imagine you add another one here like that right so then this we should uh, change this to five but um, what if you don't want to because that's some big heavy stuff we can just say we can just say hashtag teleporting parts so this will basically give it will count everything in it and give it so this will basically return five um five yeah the number five so if i delete one then it will return um then it will return four so that's then we got the random number now we just put it here right so random number and then we're going to say return true so once we are teleported so uh, don't forget to put a c frame here if not it won't help so and then we're going to return true because here we are waiting for it to return true so we can disable it so i think it should work so let's see if there's any problem we'll fix it so looks like we got a problem here alright oh yeah so add a true here so uh, equals equals to true so obviously when it returns it will be true hold up let me just see what the problem is here wait a minute I just say event here and put a uh, uh, empty here So guys, apparently, this repeat wait is not seem to work. So we're gonna remove it. I don't know why Roblox is doing that. It should work fine, but it's not working. So I'm just gonna remove that uh, part of the line. And oh, there you go. So now you see, I got teleported to a random location. So I die again. and you get the deploy screen again and we can deploy and we'll go back to the game so this is how I make the deploy GUI um, but uh, this um, deploy base plate can be like further away we can change the position so far because players don't want to see it so we can say position and give it like a really far number and now you won't even see it anywhere unless you go to it which is zoom to as you can see it's out of the map it's like breaking my game it's how far it is as you can see it's even breaking the game here but yeah that's it from me guys um hope you enjoyed this video this was like a raw video i won't be editing it oh the bike all right um i won't be editing this video i'm just posting it on youtube if there's anything wrong just let me know all right peace out